Hello and welcome to the Connect Roundtable discussion. I am Abigail, your host, and here I have the lovely Connect team. We are the media team in ICC House of Prayer, Luton Branch, and we thought what better way for you to get to know us than having a discussion. So we will be asking ourselves a series of, series of questions where you, know, you will get to hear our point of view um, and just have a good time with us. So we are going to introduce ourselves. If you could start. Eden. S. Manina. Kasper. Malden. <laughs> Sambulo. Miriam. Mike. Pamela. Jaffa. Hello. Right, so here we have the lovely team. So we're going to go straight into it. And who wants to pick out a question first? You'll pick one. Right, so Michael's going to read out a question. Oh. <laughs> the first question is relationship. <clears throat> How do you approach someone you are interested in? Right, that is our first question, and we just want to get everyone's point of view. So, obviously, the church, you know, and whole Christianity, as ladies, um, we are told that we are to be pursued and not to pursue, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Why yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, ladies, how, how would you want a guy to pursue you? <laughs> no, I feel like if you're coming to a, a woman that you're interested in, first of all, do your research. Don't approach a woman just for the sake of approaching a woman because you're interested in that particular person. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to build a foundation, and building that foundation it means like you're building the friendship, you're you're getting to know the person, and then you approach. When we are uh, approaching, we must do uh, research. Research. research well. The approach, I don't know why, why, how you understand by the word approach. For me, I think that when you say approaching someone, it's coming to the person and getting to know the person. I've seen this person from afar, I like the person. I approach to first find out the name. The rest is part of the research for me to come and find out who you are, your name, and how you talk like how you receive me for the first time, the first approach when I come to you, how you smile, how you uh, interact with me will show me if I have to continue or not. Okay, but I understand where you're coming from, but are we talking about approaching someone you don't know at all or approaching someone that, let's say, for example, we all go to the same church, we're all in the same ministry. But then in a church, there are different groups of people. We all don't, it's a, if a, it's a big church, mm -hmm. some people don't speak to each other, but they are, they are in the same church. Mm -hmm. So I might have seen someone I like from afar that I'm interested in, oh, this is, that looks nice. She kind of looks like somebody I will want to get to know more and be in a relationship with. I have to now come closer. Perhaps I haven't spoken to you or we are not friends. We just are in the same church. Mm. Yeah, and it could be that the, the person is also someone you already talked to or in the same ministry, so you meet from time to time. It's different for every situation. But then the first approach is to find out and get to know the person more, get to know whether you have the same interest. Okay, like, but how do you do that? Say hello to the person. Uh, if you don't know each other, just introduce yourself. Try to find her name, be nice, and allow time to take its course. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but then, but then, are we are we moving by the leadings of the Holy Spirit or we're being moved by our emotions? Because I feel like if you are being led by the Spirit and God is saying mm, this could be the one, then I don't think you would just back off. In in some few instances, he can speak to certain people like this particular sister is yours, but then it's not the general thing. A lot of men don't get to hear God vividly saying that this is the sister. They we move by our intuitions. It doesn't present the people that you, you are compatible with one person at a time. He puts you or places you in a place where there are potential wife materials 
that you have to study so plural, and choose from. potentials. Yeah. Wow. How many do you need? So it's the same for the woman. Do you think no? Because yeah. like, no. So like, <laughs> yeah. Let me let me explain. It's not like you are looking at the like you are approaching three women at the same time, but where you are, there are different types of women there, we, who are equally might be equally spiritual. You are so in you making a choice. It's up to you as a man to choose what you want. As Christians, we have the Holy Spirit in us. So we move by the leadings to ask the, who to choose. At the end of the day, who we end up choosing is on us. You get it? <clears throat> but then the God will bring along these potential sisters who can be a good wife to you. It's up to you as a man to identify them and to choose the particular one you want. Indirectly, no, no, as no, a woman, you feel like you're competing against like, ten other women. But you, no, yeah, and, I, and I'm saying to my like you're wasting, but, no, you're wasting the girl's in, time. Yeah, yeah. In, in, yeah. Oh, you're yeah. not wasting you anybody's time. Well, oh, God, okay, wait. <laughs> first of all, God hasn't called you to actually go after the girl. So the the fact that you're talking to the girl and you guys actually talk for a whole year not to, and to find out that you guys are not meant to be together that's just a waste of time like, like it does no. sound that you guys as men can put your eggs in different baskets, baskets but when it comes to the woman because she is to be pursued her eggs are you know in the basket that who put it in there no, it's, it's actually different because you women might have three men approaching and you have a choice to decide three among the three who do you want. But th that's not the guy is not like that. And I'm saying that I'm not saying that the guy approaches all three. But what will make me at, uh, approach one particular lady amongst the ten potentials is maybe something that I look out for. So, because you said how you would like to approach anyone else. How would you approach? You know, this question is mainly targeted at guys. So I want to know how it will be from a woman's perspective. I want to hear you guys. Because I, I know you. for a fact, you, there's times a woman, you, as a woman, you see something that you like, <laughs> but you yeah. don't know how to approach it. So I, how, I want to know how women will approach I believe that as a girl, we, we can't, or as a woman, we can't really physically approach a guy and tell him, I like you like that, because some guys, they get turned off by it. Like, they will not be interested just because they have been approached. So, what I would, personally, what I would do is I'll throw it indirect. Like, I would... <laughs> Obviously, you can't bait yourself out yeah, of it. Okay. <laughs> you can't talk No, it depends on the person as well, because it's not every guy that's the same. Like, some guys, they can, they, they, they are more... Reserved, yeah reserved and then you have other guys that are more outgoing and they're more like chilled or they they like to make jokes and stuff so with that like with people that are more reserved you have to be a bit more straightforward with them because they they won't really catch it so mm. on the person. and the ones that are more outgoing more chilled or more like bubbly, bubbly or yeah yeah with them you can really make jokes and make indirect jokes that will keep that would make him think. Me personally, I will never be that black and white. I don't think. I would never say never, but I don't think I would be that black and white and be like, I like you, da 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 da, mm. and then bounce. What you are saying, you feel if you get reject, uh, rejected by the guy, should be on your mind. That's how the guy feels. <laughs> He's also a human being. The, the the fact is that he is a male, but then he also has feelings. So in that, you'd consider. When you oh, are I'm giving sorry. an answer, how you give your answer? Yeah. Right, let's, let's talk about rejection. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Please, let's talk okay, about let's rejection. talk about rejection because I feel like it's really in this room right yeah, now. Of course it is. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't, I don't know, unless, just say yes if from past experience. Has a girl just blatantly said no to you? Just no. I'm not interested. No, it doesn't happen like that. I feel like girls are nice about it. Mm -hmm. They'll be like, oh, no, you're... No, not no, all girls. Not all girls. <laughs> but I just, but I just asked the question yeah. and you guys didn't reply. Yeah, but a girl... They, they no, have. You said personally. Yeah. But personally, no. Exactly, but and all you can I'm, speak I'm of... I'm saying, but, but maybe I have a friend who was rejected. Like, no. Like that. But no, then don't you think it. that he that. went for a woman that was outside of his... Range the circumference. No, it's colorful. No, no. So what? Is, <laughs> what kind of range are you talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Are you no, trying like, to say that some women are above us as men? No, no, no. 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're saying. Yeah, the patience of saying no—they come too quick. I think. 
They even if you no don't know the person, person. Yeah, yeah, even if you don't know the person, you, you they just still say, say no. no, because they have gotten to know a little bit of the person. They say skinny like myself, and you have seen me standing here <laughs> like this, <laughs> but, and then you look at this person and you say, oh, no, I don't think, I, yeah. And then you just go like that. What I believe as a person is that there is nothing wrong in you saying no. You have the right as a woman to decide what you, what you want. Mm -hmm. So, but get, bear in mind that the moment you are saying no, there is no going back. Hold For on. some men, when they approach you ladies, mm -hmm. automatically you know that this person I don't like. Mm -hmm. You say no. And I don't think it's yeah. a regret. Yeah, so, and there is nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. But there are some you reject because of the way they look. There are times that you are very sure that I don't like this person. Mm -hmm. And you say no, there is nothing wrong. There are times that you are not sure of the person that mm -hmm. has come forward. Don't give an answer. You get it? it, it there is no harm in saying that, let me think about it. You don't come to a person and be like, oh, I'm interested in you. Automatically the girl will say no. That's one yeah. of the questions. So that's think, one of yeah. the answers. So for her, to even, for her to even think, say, oh, maybe, or maybe I'm not interested in something like that. You guys need to actually have a talk, have a conversation, Pursue. and the no, timing like as well. That. Don't come to a person you met like a week ago, and then two days later be like, oh, I'm interested in you. The person will say no. You are friends, but most often, or sometimes, the ladies are not, you are not thinking about it that way. You think the person is your friend. And you've been you've known each other for a while. In that instance, when the guy comes to say anything, it's not because he just saw you and he came. You get it. And I know I, I'm saying I'm saying this because I know. And pe they will come to you, and then you say that you oh I didn't think of you like that. Yeah. You get it. Why are you doing your face? So, <laughs> I don't think of you like that. In that way, in that sense. You are not sure. That you thought the person was just a friend. Now, the, a friend is coming forward to say this. You might be confused then, or you might not have the proper answer. Don't say no there and then because, oh, you didn't think of him that way. Maybe you took it as, oh, we, we are brothers initially, but then you are not from the same parents. If you have realized that, okay, this brother was hanging around because he is interested, or maybe in the course of you being together, He's developed that kind of interest in you. Mm. Don't say no there and then, but then sisters say no because, oh, you there, I never thought of having a relationship with you. It's it's not really a why would you say no to me and expect, okay, okay, I'm saying no and see whether he will still yeah, come exactly. and I'll take that. That was no. No. Yeah. 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 If you're serious, you might say yes, yeah. 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 Then that tells me that you, as a girl, you are confused in it's, what it's you want. Like no, but sometimes we need to know the level of interest you have because many a times we, as girls, we witness many guys going after girls, playing them, leaving them, and pursuing other girls. Thank so if you. you if you think that you are able and capable to marry me that you want to come and approach me then please you need to show how deeply interested you are so if i say no and if you truly like me and if you truly say you want me you, you must show it yeah you must show it that's like how i'm sure okay guys i'm sure you guys in life you have a passion you want to become something in life don't you yeah. yeah do you do you stop the first time you fail no let, you dash no. yourself let, up let me give an and answer you again. Hey, 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 when you tell me that, okay, I, I've not been thinking about this, I don't really know, so give me some time to think about, then I can still hang around and not waste my time. But don't you think that that's like, misleading? Like, no, leading some you people will still pursue, some men will still go on, but not all men will go on. So let's say you're really good friends and you approach the girl and say, oh, I like you, and she says no. Is that the end of the friendship? It's not no, the end of the friendship. But, really, but then my interest, my interest is gone. Is gone. Is gone. My we interest are just is gone. We are friends. You <laughs> get it? <laughs> like, you gentlemen here are saying that our approach should be different as well. Yeah. In, in yeah. us saying yeah, exactly. no to you. Yes, yeah. that's it. If you exactly. think there is a chance, possibility of yeah. man, don't give an that answer. That is no. definite. Guys, because of time, we have to move on. Um, I hope you learnt a lot. Um, if 
if you want to contribute please leave your comments um and we'll sure be happy to read all of those lovely comments thank you for tuning in and stay connected <laughs>